Hi guys, Plant and Time guys, Discus guys, all the lovers of aquarium hobby. Uh, my happy tank. Uh, if you don't know what I mean, there's a link up there to see what I mean by a happy tank, my own concept of a good aquarium tank. So you can take a look at that video. Um, so every time I start a video, these guys just come and kind of crash my video so you can see what I'm talking about. So right now I want to talk about this Amazon Sword. This is another plant that doesn't need a whole lot of attention. Um, right now I have to do some trimming. There are some leaves which have, uh, uh, which are not, which are kind of old and I have to take it out. But uh, this, this tank has some brown algae and uh, Amazon Sword, though it is a beautiful plant, it's just tends to kind of get attracted to the algae. So you've got to watch for the parameters in the tank, um, especially brown algae or the green algae, or even hair algae. Um, they kind of get uh, uh, tagged onto this plant pretty easily. So here, come on guys. Um, so here I have like about two or three different types of uh, Amazon sword. Uh, I don't know the name. There are like Amazon sword, you just do a search, there are plenty that come up. So I have about two, three different species. If you look at the leaf size, you can make out. Uh, but this plant, or plants, actually doesn't need a whole lot of attention. It needs a substrate, it needs a good substrate. And if you see, I have just put it under the pool sand, but I have put Osmocote tabs just right under that. So it kind of gives that fertilization and also I do the CO2 here, um, right, right right, there. It is actually, that's the CO2 that is running from my uh, CO2 tank. And if you see there's a, uh, that's the bubble that comes in and it gets uh, turned and pretty much I get almost 100% diffusion. So if you see the plant here, uh, so this is all Amazon, uh, Amazon Sword and uh, I have that pretty much all this side of the tank and I have on the other side right there as well but uh, I have just kind of made like a jungle here of just Amazon swords so yeah again I'm sorry about um, the leaves have not cut it but I have to do that trimming sometime next week I just did a water thing yesterday and uh, I'm dealing with some dis discus disease right now and uh, one of my discus is kind of in the hospital tank I'm getting treated uh, but getting better. So, so that's Amazon Sword, guys. For for what um, is in the tank right now, and uh, it's like I said, it is uh, it's very easy growing. Uh, can can withstand some higher temperatures. Um, so, something you can have uh, inside any tank with the with the normal substrate. Hopefully, you guys like it. Do subscribe, and until the next video, bye.